up and welcome back to episode two of Kicking It with Christian. I want to thank all of you who tuned in to episode one. It is much appreciated. But before we start the show, can we just recap the Emmys? I mean, listen, I got to start it off with Kenan Thompson because he killed it hosting the award show. It really was just great. You know, he was super hilarious and he just he always understands the assignment, okay? Shout out to Kenan Thompson. And I mean, I just gotta start it off with shit. Well, I started off with Kenan, but I gotta, as far as the people who won that night, Cheryl Lee Ralph, congratulations to you. You deserve that award so much. And I mean, you made history that night. You know, it has been 35 years since a black woman has won outstanding supporting actress in a comedy series. And you broke that, you broke that record, okay? You deserve that award so much. And you kill it in really everything you do. But I really love Abbott Elementary. And I really think that show is just so amazing. And there's really nothing out there like that. So Keep killing it on that show. And that speech was just, whoo, it was inspiring. It was uplifting. It was motivating. It was all of that. And it really spoke to my heart. You know, I feel like we've all had a moment where we've really given up on our dreams because we feel like our time hasn't come or we haven't achieved the things we may have wanted to. But like she said, you cannot give up. Don't give up. Your time is coming. And that really spoke to my heart. So I appreciate that, those words of wisdom and that encouragement, Cheryl Lee Ralph. It is much appreciated. So keep killing it. Congrats to you. And of course, we gotta, we gotta congratulate Quinta Brunson. You are so talented and you deserve that Emmy too. So shout out to you. And also, if you ever need a brother on Abbott Elementary, I'm right here, okay? If you need a, a sub on the show, a kid sub, I'm right here. All right, shout out to you, Quinta. And lastly, come on, Zendaya. You did it to us twice, two years in a row. I mean, listen, it's Zendaya. What can I say? I'm, I'm not shocked. So congratulations to you, Zendaya. Keep killing it. All right, let's get to the show. We got a good one for y'all today. We have celebrity fitness trainer Maria Castillo in the building, and she will be teaching us a fun hit workout today. Yes, I did just say fun and workout in the same sentence. And it really is meant for everybody, beginner, intermediate, advanced, all of that. And later we'll be in the kitchen kicking it, making a post-workout smoothie. So kick back. Relax, grab your favorite snack, and let's kick it! getting your fitness journey but you just you didn't know where to start well guess what i got something for y'all today we have ceo of flawed and fit maria castillo take a look at this i'm doing so good thanks for coming on of course so glad to be here today yes how have you been i've been doing good working out you know staying fit yes trying to <laughs> okay so can you tell the people a little bit um about what we're going to be doing today yeah so i heard you want to give some beginners some tips on how to get started you know kick the finish journey off so yep. i'm going to show you guys how to do high intensity interval training circuits don't let the name scare you let me break it down for you come on over here all right let's get started all right guys so like i said high intensity interval training hit circuits are a great way to maximize your time in the gym because you do everything consecutively. So the movements themselves do not have to be high intensity plyometric crazy movements. The, the high intensity aspect is just performing them back to back with a nice little break in between. That's why it's great for beginners. You got a lot of work followed by a lot of rest. And what that does just shocks your body, keeps your metabolism, you know, guessing and you burn calories throughout the rest of the day. Who doesn't want that? Right? Okay. I 
So I wanna show you four moves that you can kind of target the entire body. Um, and like I said, the way you kind of set this up is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or whatever intervals that you feel comfortable with, all right? Yeah. Let's get into it. So move number one is gonna be a full body movement. It's gonna be a burpee. <laughs> all right. All right, you ready Woo! for this? So I'm gonna show you guys a way that you can kind of start basic and then we're gonna have a modifier over here shows the basic movement and then I'll show you an, an intensified version of the movement, all right? Okay. So first thing you do, you're gonna boom, hop back into a right. plank, mind oh, you. Mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, I'm like, what are we doing? So I wanted to speak to the fact that if you were a beginner, hopping straight back might be a little difficult. So do not worry, you can place one foot at a time, place the foot back up, and that's a burpee, right? So you're literally going down into a plank, standing right back up for the modified version. Now, if you wanna intensify this movement, all you gotta do is add, boom, plyometric movement, those um, legs shoot straight back out, you come up, and you can add a jump squat at the uh, top of the movement. Just kind of just sweat out a little more, okay? You wanna try a few? Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do like five. Okay. For the people. Sounds right. good, y'all ready? We got a modified, we got an intensifier. Let's go, in Come three, on. two, and one. Let's okay. get it. Boom. One. You're gonna push from the heel, keep that core tight. Land lightly on your knees. All three, right. use those arms Come to help you get up. We got two more, let's go. Two, and one, boom. Now we got a nice little break. We need it. We earned it. All right. All right, movement number two, we're gonna go straight into it after that 30 seconds of rest. It's gonna be a boxing combo, right? So we're gonna start with a jab, punch straight in front of you, then a cross, and then a hook, right? So ideally, you do these moves consecutively. Our modifier is gonna be doing them at a slower pace. You wanna intensify, just speed up the, the, uh, the pace, or if you wanna add some weights, it's a great way to burn that upper body out. Tank top, arms, and stomach time, period. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You ready? Let's go yes. for 15 seconds. One okay, so it's one, two, three, four, hook, hook, and a hook. hook. Hey. Hey, okay, hey. so, some music. <laughs> hey. Okay. And make sure that those knees are bent. Most importantly, with every exercise we do, don't lock the knees out, slight bend in the knees. And that helps you, boom, put a little punch. Gotcha. Power in the punch. Gotcha. Let's okay. do it. Ready? In three, two, and one. Let's go, jab, jab, cross, cross, and hook. Hook, tap, exhale each time you throw that punch. Get some impact behind it. Let's go for two more. Two, cross, hook, hook. Let's go jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, and hook. Woo! Now tell me if you had three pounds in your hand. <laughs> You back to the gym. Walking around like this. And when you're bending your knees, Love you're it. keeping your knees low, yes. legs nice and low, Core you feel tight. that burn. Everything's engaged. Ooh. Love that move. All right, yes. that's number two. So okay. again, 30 seconds off, rest, rest, rest. Move number three is going to be a ab movement, all right? So a lot of people, beginners, um, I like to kind of take the stress off, off of your lower back and your joints. So I'm gonna do a standing ab move, right? And the way to intensify this is again, adding resistance. You can have a resistance band, some ankle weights, Loves some ankle weights. So the movement essentially, you're gonna take that opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Shoot. Exhale okay. as that knee comes up. That double contracts the abs. And then we're gonna go to the same knee, same elbow. Okay? So this is the movement right here. Bang it out. Ooh, and you know what I do sometimes? The little cable machine with this, uh -huh. and then you just, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. It's just extra resistance. Resistance is queen over here. You go right? hard. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. All right. You ready for this? Let's yes. do three of these movements. All right. Okay. So it's so bam. you're going to start with the shoulder width stance. Okay. Yep. You're going to bring that opposite elbow to the opposite knee, uh -huh. keeping your body upright. You're bringing your knee to meet your elbow. That's the crunching movement, but you're standing up. Okay. So no lower back pain over here. Okay. Let's do it in three, two, and one. Exhale. Let's go. Two. Let's go for five. Why not? Three. Hey. And four. Last one. And done. Hey, I'm going extra. You are here. Let's to see it. Okay. Yes. All right. So that was three, right? Wow. Just like that, y'all. Moving right along. And what was that? That's that's what. That's two minutes. A minute. Two minutes. Two minutes. Maybe three. So we only but have it don't one. feel like it. I'm I'm good. I got my rest time. You know. Got my time working out. It's a good battle. Right. You're not overwhelmed, but you feel like you know you put in some work. You're ready to attack it the next day. That's the most important thing. Give yourself some confidence. All right. Yes. So the very last move, squat. We love them, ladies. With some squats. Men, too. You can't be walking around like an invert. Try. <laughs> so let's, <laughs> let's do the squat. So my, the best way to describe a squat, I think, is just to sit in a chair exaggeratedly. I'm going to turn to the side so you can kind of see. So knees are bent. Again, slide bend in the knees. Core is tight. Hips are tucked in. And you're going to, boom, reach for that imaginary chair. And as soon as you feel you know, a nice pull here in your lower body, you're going to come right back up. Another way, again, to intensify this, add some weights, yes. or add a plyometric aspect. 
Which is what I'll be doing. Yay me. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> I know, like, I love this. Always not struggle with squats, but yeah. like it, the goal, like you said, is to like you're sitting in a chair, right. but somehow it, mine don't look like that. It's, it's honestly a finicky move once you get the move. It's honestly a great way to, to start the base of any lower body movement. I mean, a deadlift has the same kind of uh, base, but it's just forwards instead of backwards. So it's something you'll have to work out, but maybe this will help people at home. Let's, yes, let's yes. face this way so maybe okay. they can see. Sounds and good. I'm gonna intensify with a jump and you're gonna modify for five, all right? Okay, sounds let's good. Let's get it in right. three, two, and one. Let's go, one. Push from the heels, land lightly on those toes. Three, two, exhale as you come down, excuse me, up, and exhale, that's five. All right. Great work, man. That was great. <laughs> That, that's okay. way. That okay. was it. That was it. So ideally, I do two to three rounds depending on your fitness levels. Um, again, shorter break time, shorter work time, completely up to you. Do what works for you, you know? And yeah, that's it. Do that in the morning. Fasted cardio is a great way to kind of shed fat through intensity circuits like that. Um, yeah, and that's my go-to. Yes, thank you so much, Maria. No problem. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this workout has me a little, a little parched, a little thirsty. Okay, I need a little, Reboost a little, a little Recovery energy boost, but a healthy part. energy boost, okay? Yeah. So stay right here, y'all, because we about to make a smoothie in the kitchen. Let's do it. Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch all night long. All night long. Yeah, I know we'll turn heads forever. Just finished that great workout um and now we're gonna go ahead and make a delicious mango pineapple smoothie um and we're gonna teach you guys how to make it with protein and without so maria can you tell us like what is this smoothie doing for us after a workout so it's replenishing our muscles it's recovery so after that intense workout all our muscles are, are messed up so we're gonna drink this protein to kind of just rebuild all of those molecules and just get it you know ourselves ready for the next workout the next day so you're not sore and just ready to attack it Sounds good. Well, let's do it. You will be needing mangoes, pineapples, ice, and spinach. And you also will be needing, you can use any type of milk, but we're using vanilla oat milk today. Um, and of course your protein powder if you decide to do it with that. Yep. Okay, I'm excited. Let's do let's it. Let's freaking do it. Okay. So I like to start with the fruit first. So we're yes. gonna start with our mango. And you know I'm Dominican, right. so I have tropical vibes up in here. All so right it's a little now. Pina colada I vibe. love that. It's perfect for summertime by the yes. pool. Okay. It's it is so hot outside, y'all. I'm mean, so excited right? for this smoothie. I know, me too. So we're gonna start with a cup of mangoes and then we're gonna have our fresh, freshly chopped pineapples. Pineapples, ooh, right that good pineapple that. juice. So good, oh my God, stop it, I'll drink it. So <laughs> then we have some spinach. So this okay. is a great way for those um, who don't love their greens. I honestly recommend eating your greens, you know, how they come whole and uncooked. But if you like to um, sneak some some greens in there, that's definitely my my green of choice. Because kale sometimes okay. I think alters the taste, but spinach is really good to kind of sneak and mask the taste with the fruit and stuff. So that's yes. my go-to. One of and my favorite vegetables too, to blend in there. Yeah, exactly, right. Yeah. And it has a nice little green color, you feel healthy. Oh, yeah. All right, so you're gonna add this um, soup of protein. I love plant-based protein, and plant-based milk is my go-to as well, just because dairy adds a little extra calories. But, you know, whatever works for you guys, I've also used whey protein. Um, but these days, I'm kind of cutting, you know, getting slimmer for the summertime, so plant-based is the way to go. Just one scoop is all you need. Um, so then we're gonna add some ice, just a little bit, because we want that to oh, be not nice and fresh. I'm yeah. like, she like, just a little bit, I'm like, everything. <laughs> no, I guess if you want it a little more shaky and frothy, you can add more ice, totally up to you. And same goes for the milk. If you want it a little um, thicker consistency, you can add more milk like Christian's doing. Um, or excuse me, thinner consistency. If you want it thicker, <laughs> add less, that makes sense. Wait, right. so you said you're, so you, I just want to know like why you chose oat milk. So you're doing it, like you said, yeah. because it's less calories. 100% and also just, you know, for health reasons, dairy yeah. is not necessarily the best the thing best. for us, mm -hmm. um, especially if you are dealing with any health issues. So it's definitely just a cleaner, cleaner route to go. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. I've never tried oat milk before, so I'm ready. Love. And I honestly, I'm going to add a little water too, I think, just because okay. I want mine a little, here we go, just like half of Another half a cup of water. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So we're ready to blend. Let's maybe do I should this. Add a little water too. Yeah. This. There you go. A little water. And you honestly don't H2O. need anything else for sweeteners. I mean, if you want, you can add some honey, some agave, but the fruit is plenty sweet. So again, cut out the calories where you can, if that's your goal. Yes. All right. I'm excited. For Let's this. do it. And we're gonna um, blend this on high, so all of those fruit pieces get nice and, and chopped up. All right. All right. Let's do it for ready? about thirty seconds. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Right. Ooh. Yes. Okay. We're good. 
again. Good. Should be about this consistency again. Okay. Really smooth and green. Look at that. It's held in a cut. It's Let's so crazy it. how you just put like a little bit of greens in there and like the whole smoothie is exactly green. Exactly right. It's and you crazy. just feel good. There's no guilt, even though mm. this is a sweet, you know, nice treat. Honestly, there's yes. no guilt attached to drinking this. It's it's good for you. We're gonna, you know, spend I'm our so excited for this, y'all. Please yeah, try this. Let me know this. what you think. I was gonna yes. say, taste it for me. And let me know what you think. My protein is also vanilla flavored as well. Um, so it's just a lot of vanilla vibes going on. I love the vanilla. Well. Me too. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Taking it with Christian, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Yes. Give me a beach and some sand. Because this is a wait, pina colada. Or is wait, it not? let me find out. Stop it. It's been for everyone. Hold on. Yes. I got to do a little. It's <laughs> <laughs> good, right? This Very is good. delicious. Thank you so much. I love it. Like, it's my go to breakfast of, of choice if I'm just like on the go and want to keep things light in the morning. Right here. This is, is really or tasty. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> How's that smoothie? Come through, smoothie. Yes. Yeah. It's tastes like so it. good. <laughs> And thank you so much for the workout. I had so much fun. Of course. Seriously, but of course. you are just so good at it. I, I really want to know, have you always had a love for fitness? Because um, I know it's not easy. It can be very tiring. So like, what's, what's the backstory behind that? So, it's funny, because anyone that knows me is like, you do fitness, ha ha. <laughs> because I was never into sports, never athletic, and then in college, it kind of had a health scare. Um, it was a familial situation that I was made aware of, and it kind of propelled me into my entire fitness journey. I was kind of forced into it. But you know what, through that, I was I found the love of my life, and I found um, the thing that wakes me up every day. So it was a... A blessing turned into a, it was a disguised blessing. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. A disguised blessing. Something I have to deal with, but it also, again, brings me joy and I'm able to spread that joy with other people. So, yeah, not yeah. always, but I love it. You definitely <laughs> are spreading that joy. Thank you. And doing such an amazing job. I Thank love so that. Much. Keep killing it. Um, now, what advice would you give someone who was just starting their fitness journey? Might be a little scared to start. Yeah. Okay, let me start off by saying I have been a trainer for over six years and I still get uh, workout anxiety. Like on days where I haven't like lifted heavy for a while and uh -huh. I think about the thought of going to the gym and doing a heavy leg day, I freak mm. myself out and I'm like, okay, Maria, first and foremost, make it manageable, right? right? What works for you may not work for someone else. That's like kind of the basis of my brand flawed and fit, embracing your flaws while finding your own unique version of fit because fit looks different on all of us, right? right? So make it manageable in the sense that, you know, for your schedule, <clears throat> excuse me, and fitness level, what works best for you? Realistically, if you can do 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, or twice a day, or excuse me, twice a week, that's the goal that you set for yourself. You check that goal every week, week after week, and you start building successful days on successful days, and you're motivated to keep going. You expect yourself to you know, start off five days out of the week, three hours at the gym, and then you fall a little short, you become discouraged. So that's my number one thing is make it manageable. And then secondly, I think have fun and maximize your time. Like I kind of just spoke to while we did the workout. You don't have to be in the gym hours on end. Find ways that you, know, you can kind of Get in and get out. So like I said, it's still an enjoyable process, <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> but I mean, listen, you, you die and you come back to life. It right. really it really is just a refresher. So yeah, those would be my, my two main things. Um, now I want to know, just for me, sure. uh, and I'm sure other people may have this question, what, what would you say you can do if you're having trouble balancing working out and eating or like keeping that healthy, healthy lifestyle? Because I know sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to eat a salad. <laughs> but then if, I'm a, if I scroll past a pizza or something or see a pizza, I'm like, ooh, yeah. that, that, that sounds much better. So how would you, I guess my Trust question me. would be how can you continue to stay disciplined and still sure. find that balance and enjoying your favorite food? Sure, so when, it, when we're speaking to um, uh, eating specifically, mm -hmm. I think making your favorite foods in healthier ways, right? So like I mentioned earlier, I'm Dominican, our diet, Honey, it's not, it's not conducive to you know the goals that I personally I know all have. About that, so yeah. it's about, like I said, compromise. Maybe you know I still want plantains, but I just eat one instead of six. 
and I, I bake them instead of frying them, right? We were just speaking about this, um, air fryers. Things are your th ways to kind of create your, your favorite dishes, but just healthier, simplifying things. So like, or excuse me, modifying things. So spaghetti, switch it out for zucchini noodles. Um, you know, air bake your chicken, air fry your chicken versus frying it. Um, and then again, guys, live life in moderation. The fitness thing is an every day for the rest of your life type of thing. Make it work for you. Have days where you, you know, let yourself enjoy the things that you like, but make sure that that, that, that reason why you started in the first place had to kick in and then you, you know, you kind of give yourself a grade throughout the week. If overall you ate pretty well, then that's okay. You, you have to have um, realistic, I think, expectations for yourself. And that, again, will keep you motivated and wanting to do better. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, She's dropping jewels, y'all. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna take that advice. Sure. I think it should, Me too. like you said, <laughs> taking baby steps. Yes, you know? exactly. Yeah. Small progress leads to big progress. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, now, I know I've had people tell me this before yes. in the future, like, you know, you're a kid, you're good, you know what I'm saying? You can eat right. any foods you like um, and run like once a week and you'll be good. Um, now, would you say is that necessarily true? Like, mm -hmm. would you say that kids should just be, should be just as active as everyone else? Do you right. think that really matters just because you're a kid? Right, so two things. You're a kid, you're a sponge, right? We develop the people we are in our childhood, right? So if we want to create healthy habits, this is just speaking to me personally, for my future children, um, I think creating habits young is setting your kid up for success because when it comes to health you know, issues and things like, for example, familial issues, which is kind of what I uh, experienced, prevention is key. So once it's there, it's hard to kind of backtrack, but preventing things, and I don't know if it's a fun fact, but um, heart disease is the number one killer of Americans for the last like hundred something years. And wow. again, that starts with prevention. That, that's over lung cancer, that's over mosquitoes, which is the number one. How do I know these things? That's the number one Wait, killer of what? Lung cancer. In the world, did you know that mosquito bites? Really? Mosquito bites. But in the US, heart disease, right? Well, in so, that case, don't go to the south because you're getting bit oh, by mosquitoes every man. five seconds. Sweating and itching. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so definitely I would say that you know, creating those habits early is gonna set you up for success and literally, physically, keep you healthy from beginning to end, right? And that's the goal. So, um, um, but like I said, don't make it manageable too. Your kids don't need to be squatting 100,000 pounds. It's also just keeping it fun. Outdoors, go on a hike, play basketball. Kids don't go outside anywhere. <laughs> you gotta get outside, play some tennis. Uh, I was just talking to my mom. I'm so grateful that she did that. Like I can recall just going on bike rides with my family and stuff that didn't feel like working out, but you get home and you're sweating and that was a little workout, but yeah, you're a kid. But it's, it's fun. fun. Exactly. It's fun. It's just things you do. Exactly. You know? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Such good information. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much of for coming course. on Kicking It with Christian and Kicking It with me. Um, this smoothie is so good, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. I'm about to make this every morning. <laughs> yes. So delicious. Of um, but before you go, tell everybody where they can continue to follow your journey and yes. yeah, find you. You guys can find me on Instagram. Um, if you want to put it somewhere down yes, there. Put it on. Yeah, put it below. <laughs> um, or on the Fabletics app. I'm a Fabletics Fit Trainer. We have a bunch of really cool programs on there that are free. So check that out. Um, but yeah, the IG is where I'm usually at most of these, these days. Yes, go check yeah. her out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maria. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. <laughs>
Yes. I'm about to play some surprise. Today's a new day. Come on. Today's a new day. Get up. We're walking on. on. Yes, go for it. Y'all, I'm about to board the sea plane hey. for the first time. Let's do it. All right. Y'all need to do a tiny step. Oh, gosh. Oh, did everyone go to the bathroom? Head it out, guys. Well, we made it to the end of our episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. A special thanks to my guest, Maria Castillo, for working me out, okay? I'm still sore. <laughs> and if you guys try this workout, please be sure to tag us both. Thanks again for watching, and uh, thanks for kicking it with me. See y'all next time.